In today's video, I will be showing you that bunny hopping does exist in Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone. I'll be brutally honest, although it does exist, I don't believe that it is very valuable. With the right skill set and timing, you could use bunny hopping effectively. I think other factors that vary into that is the perks you are running and also the level of skill of the players you are going against. Call of Duty did announce today as well that they are going to be tuning the movement with the slide cancel, the little delay. They are tuning that with the beta this upcoming weekend in this video i have a few examples of what bunny hopping looks like in modern warfare 3. i think it requires a lot of momentum while you are moving as well i will show you instances as well in this video of me using it in situations i know some people might critique and say that bunny hopping is when you jump to the side multiple jumps or it's not bunny hopping if you're just jumping in a stationary position but once again with the right timing and momentum you might be able to bunny hop effectively even if you can't figure out how to bunny hop in this game i don't think that you should worry about it because the movement has already improved tremendously from modern warfare 2 and warzone even if you're not doing the technical term of bunny hopping you can still jump shoot effectively in this game throughout my whole entire life of playing call of duty i have always been a jump shooter instead of a drop shotter so hopefully the tips i give you today will help you want to bunny hop in this game and do it effectively and i'm going to show you a couple examples of how that looks as you can see, when I am bunny hopping side to side, I don't believe that I get as much movement as I am if I'm bunny hopping backwards. We're taking Charlie. Charlie secure. Friendly UAV online. Friendly UAV on station. Switch your max. Bunny hopping backwards seems to be the most effective. Also, while I'm bunny hopping backwards, while shooting at the same time, I'm getting off the most jumps consecutively as possible. One of the most important things I try to do when bunny hopping effectively is I like to swap my weapons because I feel that it gives me a bit of momentum. And as you can see right here, I'm getting off some effective bunny hops, literally just practicing. Like in this clip right here, I was able to get four consecutively while firing off my SMG. I just think that it takes a little bit of practice and a little bit of effort and you might be able to master this easily. Once again, with improved movement, tremendously improved movement in Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone, I don't think bunny hopping will be that valuable unless they update it. But if you're a sweaty, you might enjoy using this. And now I'm going to show you guys some clips of me using bunny hopping in situations in a live match. I also tried to get a couple examples for you guys of me getting into a gunfight and bunny hopping, missing my shots on purpose. That way I could see the kill cam from the other person's point of view to see how I was moving.
Let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel about the movement and bunny hopping in general in Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone. And thanks for watching. And if you would like to see my settings, please let me know. I will do a video on my settings on the PC beta coming up this weekend. If this video was helpful for you guys in any way, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. I will be uploading a lot of Call of Duty content when the new MW3 and Warzone drops. Thank you guys for the continued support. As always, enjoy some of my movement and I will see you guys in the next one. Updated. Move to the hard point. Need recon overhead. Hard point compromised. Secure the area. Enemy inside the perimeter. Fire. Friendly fire. Watch it. Destroy Changing the Changing mags. Changing back! Hardpoint compromised. 